Hello guys, it's Uncle L here. I've made a tutorial in a while and uh haven't made videos in a while. I have posted the Skyrim animation, but that's just an animation, not a tutorial. So yeah, let's get this tutorial started. Should this tutorial will show you guys how to make a loading bar. So pull up Firefox. I don't think you guys can see my taskbar. Don't know why I turned that off. Or never mind. But I mean, this is basically going to show you guys how to make it Photoshop. Oh, fuck. And this is not gray. It's just loading bar. Looks kind of cool. As you can see, it's a, just kind of like a gradient from purple to blue and then purple again. Kind of cool. And I also did a gray one. So, yeah. Let's get started. So, let's just open up Photoshop. It's already open up, I believe. Yeah. So, let's create a new document. File, new. I do 1000 by 50 for this. You can do whatever you want, but I just do 1000 by 50. 1000 for the width and 50 for the height. And the con background content to white, resolution to 100. You can do whatever you want. Just, yeah. Name this loading bar. Alright. As you can also be of this nice and long background. Well, it's not a background. Basically, long white workspace. So, yeah. Why is this locked? Eh, whatever. So, basically, let's create a new layer. Go down here. Versus create new layer. Click on that. And you'll have a new layer. Let's now start from going a little bit too fast. It's um, not really good at explaining. If you guys could already tell. But now let's go to the gradient tool. It's right next to the eraser. Click on that. You might have the paint bucket tool already selected. So just hold down on your left mouse button and click on the gradient tool. And I um, already have this preset gradient that I did. So you can change your gradient by clicking on the, this right here. And you have the gradient tool selected. Click on that. Change your colors around by clicking and yeah, clicking and adding more colors. Delete my dragon off. My dragon clicking them, clicking them and dragging them off. And you go. You can also change the way that the gradient looks up here. This is a radial, kind of goes in a circle, and this is basically to, uh, from left to right. So yeah. So now what you want to do is basically hold down shift, hold down shift and click on your loading bar and drag up or left to the or left to right, however you want it to go. Oh crap. I'll make mine going up and down, I guess. Yeah. All right. So I just held down shift and clicked. Basically, using my left mouse button, basically dragged, sort of, and uh, now let's create a new layer. Another layer. This is for the text. Select the text tool. Come on. All right. And let's click on our loading bar. It's right loading. Dot dot dot. All right. And now let's select our selection tool. Remove tool, pressing V or just going up in the toolbar and selecting it. Loading, drag it to the center or, or wherever you want it to go. And uh, yeah, now what you can do is if you guys are, didn't already know, there is an animation part to Photoshop. I didn't really realize this till yesterday. So just go up to window, click on oh, it's already selected. Crap. Well, Photoshop is probably, probably look like this for you. No, no timeline sort of down here. So what you want to do is go to Window, Animation, and you'll get this little timeline type deal. So now what you want to do? Create two frames or create a new layer in the uh the I can't I, I call it the timeline. So yeah, it's create a new layer. Oh fuck! Why did I add so many? Do like that. Alright, and you, you want to select the first one, 
and drag this. Oh shit. Sorry, I keep messing up. Select your layer that you have the gradient on for the load bar and make sure you have your first layer selected. And then in the move tool on and drag this sucker all the way to the side. Alright, that's for the first frame. Second frame, I'm gonna drag this. Oh crap. There. All the way over here. Alright. And uh basically now it's hold down shift and click both of these frames and click this tool down here. It basically tweens the animation kind of like in flash, similar feature. And you can basically change how many frames you want to add for the selected layers or all layers. You do the parameters, position, opacity effects, and tween with selection, things like that. So let's add let's see 30 frames or no 40 frames. So that's a bit slow. The less frames you add, the faster it's going to be, and the more frames you add, the faster it's going to be. I mean, the slower it's going to be. So, yeah, click on that. And basically, it's going to key all the, the um, all the spots in between. It's a rough estimation. So yeah, there's the loading bar, and I made the text white so that it blends in with the background, and it comes into view. And the loading bar comes over it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You could change how long you want these, like say for each of these frames to be, by clicking on this zero second thing, click on the triangle, and change it to 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 2 seconds, whoever you want it to be, no delay, and other, customize this. And you can also come down here, where it says forever, you can click this triangle, and click it to once so that it only plays once. So put this back at the beginning and click play. And now it's gonna stop playing, it's not gonna keep looping. So yeah, to pretty much it. Not to the door. Wait, fuck it. I'm not done yet. Don't click out of the video. Now if you guys want to export this, go up to file, export, render video. Come on. I know you got it in you. Alright, so now you see all these features. You can name it up here. It's like the folder in which you want it to go to. QuickTime, export. I, I didn't really learn about all these, but you guys can watch another tutorial if you want to on how to do this. But it's pretty self explanatory if you know how to run Flash and things like that. So, yeah, so name this loading bar. Let's name it the third one. So I already created two of them, loading bar three. Select the folder, select my desktop, okay. And document size right here, frame rates down here. Change that to wherever you want to 24 FPS. That's industry standard for movies. So yeah, let's click this, render. And it should now be done. So if we click on Go to our desktop or wherever you saved it to. Click on it. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck, it's not working. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, there's another way of doing this as well. Go to the file, save as. Save it to wherever you want it to go. Let's just save this as. Fuck, how did I, how did I do this before? I can't remember. See what has a JPEG. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Save it as a JPEG. Let's test this baby out. I guess. Is this how I did it before? Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. I believe it's how I did it before. And now just drag it into your desktop. No, your desktop, your Firefox. Ah, oh, fuck, it's just a JPEG. Shit. <laughs> Shit. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? I did it yesterday, just don't know how. I don't, I do not have autism. Don't worry. <laughs> Properties, so check this out. It's a GIF. Oh. Shit. No wonder. File, save as. Save this as a GIF 
if it has the feature. Oh yeah, here it is. GIF. Flatten your layers, whatever. I'm surprised Windows doesn't bother me in this tutorial. <laughs> it should t totally make an animation out of Windows. It's so funny. Fuck. Aren't you working? Aw, oh, man. This is a disaster. This is a disaster, guys. Fuck. Alright, well, go watch some of this tutorial for this shit. <laughs> Sorry, I showed you how to make the loading bar. It's basically all I was meant to show you guys, I guess. But just go watch some of the tutorial on how to export this sucker. There's, there's tutorials out there for it, so yeah. Peace. I'll make another tutorial tonight. So yeah. Peace out.